Greg, it doesn't matter if you're taking that lapel over the elbow, right? You want it more for the wrist? I, I prefer it. to trap it with the wrist. I mean, there's a way to also trap it. Kind of like this. We trap the elbow like this. But I still feel he can kind of extend it. No? No, I just don't really have as much of a wrist control here. You know what I mean? And this lapel is a little bit loose. Mm -hmm. So I have to. It's so much more constricted like that. It's horrible. Yeah. Here, and go right through here, or right under his little hand right there. Here, or so it's coming across. I think. And if, in the worst case, in the worst case. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so last thing, so, so no last thing. Just, what you're gonna do is this, take that one. You're gonna take this, and you're gonna feed this, just for control, <coughs> right here, right? This is just control, because you wanna see what he's doing here. Because if you don't have this as a control, the big guys are gonna frame into you. This way, I control his head and his hip. If he starts trying to turn into me, I can frame the hip. If he tries to walk away from me, I can give him cross face. I can control the hip. I don't need to use this hand in place of the lapel. I use the lapel as an extra arm to give me a third arm right here, okay? So now, let's say he moved his hip out. He framed me a little bit more here. Yeah, right here. Look, he's framing me. Good job with that right elbow. And I'm framing him back with my hip I'm gonna grab right inside on that elbow, pull it in, lift my head. And I'm gonna pull myself. I'm gonna roll my left shoulder right here. So I'm giving him good business with the cross face here. I put it back into my right hand. Okay, now it's at the wrist. Sometimes it's slacky, so I reach right here, nice and Getting good business here. Put my chin maybe even on the wrist. Okay, here. Take your frames. Break the frame. If I'm just pulling, give me a frame. Yeah, right here, look. I'm framing him back. So I'm pulling into that frame and drive my hip into that frame. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull this back right there like that. Yeah. And now no more front. And then as I'm giving him good business here. Wrap this. Yeah, he's got this nice lapels. Look, if you want a wrist lock, just put your chin on that wrist and drive this forward. Okay. We have a great control right here. Yes. The whole time you're making the pass when you're here and you make the pass over the wrist, you're driving your shoulder into his chin still. Though. Yes, yes, I'm, con like I'm controlling it before I can use this to uh, replace my hand on my, my, my chin, okay? Look at Eric making it rain. Mm -hmm. so, and now right here, look, I can also do this. Baseball choke right there, okay? But I can do this. My hips here. Isolate that arm here. So my left elbow and left thigh are connected. I'm gonna pull them up. Let me go here. Maybe I can pull this way. Or S mount. He can't really stop me with that hand. Yeah. Behind me. Yeah, he'd be hiding because he'd be. And just sit here. Pull that left elbow, drop that right form down. And for extra fancy flavor, here. How, how are you framing on the hip turning into you? You said something about framing on this hip from turning in. How do I frame on the hip to turn in it? I'm not really framing, I'm just putting the elbow down. 
but from here. Like when you were in sight control? Okay. I'll, I'll show you when okay. I'm I want to keep that elbow pinched because he's going to want to fight that arm. Yeah. Right and I want to drive this forearm through here. And I want to just sit here because here you should be able to finish it. Try it. One, two, three. I'll tell you one thing. I 